Hey, this is Craig again. Um, nice little feature that's in the 274 release candidate 2 is cavity masking. And it's in project pain, projection painting. Um, really cool stuff. Anthony Riakatakis uh, added it. It goes by sci fi on Blender Artist. Um, really cool stuff. So, just to get in there, I want to see how it works. I'm going to go ahead and get a monkey, control 2, and then shade smooth. I want to paint on them. We've got to do some work. So, edit mode, and I'm going to smart UV project 0.03 just for right now, and go straight to texture paint. It's pink because we're missing our slot. So, we're going to add a paint slot of diffuse color. I'm going to set up as white and hit OK. It's pretty cool stuff. I'm going to change the outliner up here to UV image editor and bring up that Im image behind it so we can. Re re resolve back. Okay, so we've got this ready to paint, and I want to paint the whole thing. First things first, um, we're wanting to do the cavity masking, so I, I don't want to paint the whole thing. I'm going to shift click the project paint tab here, go back to tools, and now it appears up here. Turning on cavity masking, the default has this 0 to 1 ratio it works kind of like the way the brush curves do. I'm going to go to my fill tool, change the black, tap a couple of times, and you can kind of see what the curve is doing. Now that's cool, but that's not what I wanted. I wanted to actually put the black opposite that. So, Alt R over the image here in the UV image editor returns it back to the original state. And now I'd like to go ahead and mess around with my curve. I'm going to put a point there in the middle and I'm going to set it to a vector handle and put it up. And I'll bring this top end down almost, to, okay, I guess zero. And then I'm going to bring this other one up to about mid. So now we're going to find out what happens now. That's a lot better. It's actually leaving more, more like wear spots and stuff. The map's not perfect because the UV unwrap I did was really lazy. So we're going to have some artifacting because of stretching and stuff. Mind that when you're working on your own project. You want to make sure you unwrap correctly. But anyway, so we've get, we're getting this going on. And I'd like to see what happens here. So I'm going to add another one. Make sure it's vector. And I'm going to drop it. And we get some interesting patterns. Also, again... And I'm going to just keep adding some, leave that one there, put this one all the way to the top, this one about right there. And I'm going to see what happens if I pull this one over here close to that, that point. And now I'm going to actually come up, and we start to get some interesting stuff. And I think you can actually get some interesting wear in your paint. And right now we're just doing mix in on the same, then that's it. But you could actually work around with colors and manipulate with mix any one of these to get some different effects. Um, while we're while we're doing this, let me go ahead and show you something about the fill tool. Here, it's interesting is that we can also use our gradient and we can change our stroke method either here or we can use the E key and we can choose a line. Now the the nice thing about the line is that it'll, it, it works pr it pretty nicely. Now I want to paint through the whole thing so I can actually turn off include and cull and I can sit there and drag out and I get interesting effects like this. Still, I think it's minding the main uh, masking, cavity masking. And so you can take this map and then come back and actually paint in more details and scratches and such. Or use this as a stencil between two different materials and get, get something going with uh, an interesting surface between uh, maybe a reflective surface and a rusty surface. Alright? Um, 
anyway, that's that's about that. You know, everybody can just kind of figure out what they need to do with the rest of it. All right. Talk to you guys later.